This is Talk Business and Politics with Roby Brock. Well, the premier race in Arkansas politics in 2016 will be a high-profile contest for the U.S. Senate. Incumbent Republican Senator John Bozeman faces a primary challenge, and if he's successful, he faces a libertarian challenger and a Democratic challenger. That Democrat is my guest today, Connor Eldridge. Welcome to the program. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Roby. Thanks for having me. I'm going to be presumptive and uh, say that you're going to be the Democratic nominee okay. <laughs> for the U.S. Senate. And I am actually going to uh, offend some of our more conservative TV watchers here and say that I do believe John Bozeman will be your opponent in the fall. What differentiates you between John Bozeman and yourself? What do you think is the biggest differences? Well, Roby, there's, there are a lot of differences in this race, a lot of distinctions. Um, you know, First and foremost, I'm going to go to Washington with a fresh attitude, with a fresh look at all the problems we have. Uh, I am tired of Washington and tired of its inability to deal with real problems that we face. And that cuts across party lines. That, that is a, a criticism of Republicans and Democrats that have been there for too long and really uh, bicker and blame and produce a lot of noise but don't produce any real results. So I'm ready to go to Washington with new energy with uh, a dedication to getting up every day and working hard to get, to, to get things done for the people of this state. It comes down to leadership though, as long as the structure is set up where the leadership is the majority party and there's really, it just matters if you have an R or D after your name in terms of who controls leadership there, how can one person make a change in that? I don't see how that's possible. Well, you know, that's the premise of our whole campaign. I think one senator can make a difference and the United States Senate is the place to go for one person listening to the people of the state of Arkansas to really deliver results. One senator does have tremendous power and working hard every day, uh, being focused on getting in the weeds of issues, being focused on what you, what you can accomplish for the people of this state, uh, I, I reject that premise and I think that one senator can in fact get something done and to do that you've got to be willing to go against either party including your own and if I am, when I am in Washington, when I'm in the Senate, I will go against either party, the Democratic Party or the Republican Party, to get things done for the state of Arkansas because I'm running to represent uh, everybody in this state and no one else. Give me a specific position or positions where you think that you are different than John Bozeman, you would vote differently than John Bozeman, uh, the ones that come to mind the most to you, where do you think is the biggest difference? You know, there, there are a number of them. Um, I, we can start with immigration reform. Okay. Um, Senator Bozeman has uh, consistently opposed immigration reform. Um, I want to be part of the solution on that issue. When regular people look at that issue, it's apparent that we need to increase border security, we need to know what is coming in and out of this country, and then we also need a pathway to legal status for the uh, immigrants that are in this country. Do you favor amnesty for the existing immigrants? I don't favor this? amnesty, but I do favor a pathway to legal status. What would that entail? Um, Give me a couple of specifics. Well, that would entail a number of, of things. Uh, this is basically the, the proposal that George Bush and John McCain have both made. Um, if you recall, there was a vote in the Senate in which John Bozeman was part of, uh, of, of around 20 or more Republicans that voted against this, and then uh, there was a bipartisan coalition that supported uh, immigration reform. Um, and again, it is premised on first and foremost securing the border. As a prosecutor, uh, all of the methamphetamine in this state uh, that I prosecuted cases on came across the border in Texas, the vast majority of it, um, with Mexico. We have to know what is coming in and out of this country, so we have to first and foremost um, strengthen the border uh, answer that question, be able to tell the people of this state that the border is secure, and then we can deal in a, in a realistic, pragmatic way um, with a path to legal status for people uh, in this country. And that should include making sure um, people are, haven't committed crimes. And I prosecuted people in this country uh, illegally who'd committed crimes, and they were deported and sent back. It includes making sure that taxes are paid, and there are a whole host of other requirements uh, that, that have bipartisan support from, again, Bush, McCain, and a whole host of Democrats. And Senator Bozeman, unfortunately, stood uh, with the extreme of his party in opposing common sense reform in that area. Some of those things would cost money to do that, and there may not be enough revenue to do some of the things that you think need to be done in terms of um, uh, any type of those types of reforms. Would you, be, would you go on the record now saying you're opposed to any new tax increases, or are you open-minded on the fact that we may have to generate new revenue to pay for some of the programs that we need to do? Well, we've got to balance the budget. 
you know, um, I did find it interesting that uh, the president pointed out um, that the budget deficit had declined. Um, I talked about that when I announced to run. In Washington, it's a success that the deficit has declined. We know that the national debt has tripled in the last 14 years um, under a Republican president and a Democratic president, and that, that uh, anyone who's been there over a decade during that time uh, bears some responsibility for that. I think we need a completely new look at that. Um, balancing the budget obviously does entail uh, revenue and expenses. Um, I've run a business. I understand a balance sheet and an income statement. Um, I think we've got to take a fresh look at that. I do not think taxes need to be increased. Um, taxes have been increased over the past several years, and I, and I think that uh, uh, I do not support further tax increases. I do think we need a fresh look um, at the budget, a fresh look at spending. Um, as someone who is a federal prosecutor uh, and someone who's been in private business, um, I've, I've looked at the government from both vantage points, and there is a lot of wasteful spending in the government that ought to be cut out. You've described yourself as old school meets new school to John Brumman in an article that uh, ran in our latest magazine edition of Top Business and Politics. Where are you new school? Well, you know, I think we need fresh uh, energy um, and attention to, pro to old problems. I mean, the budget, the debt and deficit is a perfect example. That's not a new issue. Um, it's gotten a lot worse in the past few, in the past several years. Mm -hmm. um, we need new energy and new leadership uh, on all of the, on that issue and on so many others. Um, you know, the new school to me in Arkansas uh, and uh, is, is that uh, pe voters still do put the person over the party. And I think voters are increasingly becoming less partisan in Arkansas and across the country. And what they crave, what I crave, uh, as a voter, as a person, as a citizen, is someone who, who is going to go to work every day, cut through the noise, cut through the parties, and deal with real problems and come up with real solutions that ought to be new solutions. Um, that is an old idea, but it's also a new idea because we're at a critical time in our state and in our country, and we need new leadership, new energy, and a new approach to deal with these problems in just that bipartisan, nonpartisan way. All right. Democratic Senate candidate Connor Eldridge, thank you so much for being here. Appreciate it. Thanks, Roby. All right.